right, we're here, Sidewinder TV crew with the Sundance 2016. We're here at the Slam Dance Film Festival as well. There's the Main Street. There's Sundance TV headquarters right there. You can take a shot of that real quick. But uh, we got the Sundance Fever and the Sidewinder TV crew. We're here. We're going to be covering the red carpet here, Slam Dance, in a couple minutes. We've been to some parties, some major events, and uh, we're holding it down for the indigenous people out here, Native Pride represent. And uh, we got some new members here. We'll, they'll be joining us here shortly, uh, the, the ever-growing Sidewinder TV crew. And I uh, hope you enjoy what we have. Welcome to the 2016 Slam Dance Red Carpet Premiere. I'm your host, Sahara Kajanori with Sidewinder TV. Stay posted for exclusive coverage. Okay. Hi, my name is Angela Boatwright. I'm the director of Los Punks, We Are All We Have. I'm Gary Alvarez. I'm the singer of Rhythmic, Rhythmic Asylum. Fantastic. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I was actually t uh, taking a look at your, your uh, poster inside the, the catalog. Tell me more about your film. Uh, Los Punks We Are All We Have is a film about the backyard punk scenes in East LA, Boyle Heights, and South Central Los Angeles. It's a bit of a character piece. You get to learn about four specific people that participate within the scene, and through that you learn more about the scene at large. So how did the two of you meet? Uh, we met at a backyard show in South Central. I had my like mohawk and I was moving around. She's like, well, this guy's kind of inter an interesting subject to take pictures of. And we just started talking. She's like, do you want to get interviewed? I was like, yeah, sure. I like talking. So she's like, well, I want to feature you a little bit more. We just like kept going to shows and kept talking. So it's cool. Welcome to Sundance. Is this, uh, Slam Dance, excuse me. Is this your first uh, film here at this festival? This is my first film. It's my first full-length documentary feature. Congratulations. What kind of advice do you have for first-time filmmakers? Oh my gosh, um, don't sweat the details. Just go, go with the flow and do everything you can and, and let it go and have a good time, really. And just do your best. Make sure it's from your gut, from your heart, and it's all about love. My name is Paul Taylor. I'm the writer, director, and cinematographer of Driftwood. And I'm Alex Megaro. I am the producer, editor, and pulse therapist on Driftwood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> very true. It's very true. Tell me about Driftwood. So Driftwood is about this young woman who washes ashore. She's kind of a blank slate. She may even have uh, traces of amnesia. And this older guy takes her in, brings her into his isolated cabin in the middle of the woods, and almost teaches her how to live. But the whole thing is dialogue free. We wanted to tell a story solely through images alone. So it's quite, it was quite an undertaking. Did it start out as a, a small project that just rolled, snowballed into a huge project, and you're like, oh my gosh, we have a film, let's enter it into slam dance. No, no, I mean, this from the very beginning, the idea was to make a complete full-length feature. And a dialogue-free feature that we kind of did to see if we could do it yeah. and pull it off. Yeah. And it's, I mean, it's very difficult to, because you have to convey basic emotions and the entire narrative strictly through images. You don't have the crutch of dialogue. And uh, I think we managed to pull it off fairly well. Yeah, I think so. I think so. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian Moses, the writer-director of The Tail Job. And, and I'm Daniel Miller, who's also the writer and director of The Tail Job. There's two of us. Yeah, there's two of us. Like twins, but not. Yeah, sort yeah. of like twins. Yeah, one's just slightly taller than the other. It's like Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, only our mothers can tear us apart. <laughs> tear us apart or tell us apart? Yeah. We're very close. Or tear, and, you know, it's a little violent. Uh, tell me a little bit about your film. Go for it. All right, our film's a, a true story about a friend of ours who thought he was being cheated on by his fiancée and so he took off into the night on a quest of vengeance. So he goes up on a wild goose chase in a taxi trying to find his fiancée and this guy that she's supposedly seeing and they end up completely the wrong direction and messing with low life psychopaths and gangsters. It's like an old fashioned buddy comedy, comedy of errors kind of thing. Hmm. I'm curious. So is this your first film here at Slam Dance? It is. This is actually our first feature film, and uh, this is the world premiere, so we're really excited to be here. It's fantastic. Congratulations. Yeah, my name is Molly Gandor. Uh, I have a feature-length documentary called Peanut Gallery. Tell me more about uh, Peanut Gallery. 
Uh, it's about my family. My sister died when I was 10 years old. Uh, she was 14. Uh, she'd had leukemia for eight years. And uh, my parents and I didn't really know how to talk about it. And I went home uh, in my mid-20s with a video camera and kind of spoke with them for the first time. And that's the film. What was the, what was the experience filming this project? Intense. I mean, I, I filmed with them over the course of two years, um, and, and the film itself is my initial visit and those first conversations that we had. Um, I mean, it's been so, it's hard to describe because it's been my life. It's been so personal and, and cathartic. Uh, my name's Nathan Williams. The film is If There's a Hell Below, and I'm Trevor Joyce. Tell me more about your film. It is a paranoid, moody suspense thriller about a journalist who meets a government whistleblower out of the middle of nowhere, um, and they are trying to find out if they can trust each other. Uh, and then so there's some twists and turns, and I think it goes to some exciting places. Is this your first film at Slam Dance? Yeah, this is our first feature and our first film at Slam Dance, so we're thrilled to be here. Congratulations. My name is Ian McLaren. My name is Shannon May McKenzie, and we made the short documentary Rotatio. What is Rotatio about? It's a, you should say it. All right, the, uh, the Rotatio is about a 33-hour performance that I made about a year and a half ago. It's a performative drawing. I filled a six-foot circle with rows of thousands and thousands of tiny lines, and inside of the rows were hidden fragments of a narrative of being raped and overcoming the complications in life that was that arrived because of that experience and being able to share that with other people who have never even begun to talk about it was the most important part of the piece. And lens or to you? Both? Okay. Uh, I'm Michael Curtis Johnson and I'm the director of Hunky Dory that's in the narrative competition. And I'm Tomas Pais and I play the lead and I was a co-writer on the film as well. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, it's the story of a failed glam rocker and his 11-year-old son, and um, it's really just about the relationship between the two of them. He was an every other weekend dad, cool dad. Um, his ex drops their son off for the week and disappears, so he suddenly has to be a full-time dad, and he starts to unravel um, with the pressures of that. Yeah. Is this your first slam dance? Uh, yes, my first slam dance. This is our first feature film. So.